Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and I'm doing something a little different today. It was somewhat different because I normally walk to the next building and it's lunchtime. So I'll go get me a smoothie. But that was doing the fast. And of course the fast is over. And so I had a nice breakfast this morning. In fact, I had a sausage biscuit, <laughs> a cup of coffee, and then later on, I had a cup of hot chocolate. So, I'm going to try to condition myself that if I end up hungry or thirsty, just to drink more water. And I most likely will get my hot cup of water, put me some lemon or lime juice in it. Okay, so I'm walking. So this is what I'm doing on my lunch break. I'm just walking and I'm inside the building where I work and it's called the atrium. So I used to come and walk all the time round about March, April. And then um, I stopped. So I used to try to do about 10 laps around. I have a 45 minute lunch break. And um, what happens is, let me see. I'm trying to see. Okay, we don't want to do it. When I used to have my iPad, you guys, the lighting was so much better for some reason when I did that little lap when it got dark. But you all know it's me. You all see me. 45 minutes lunch break. Don't know how many steps I'm taking. I'm going to have to find out a way to calculate these steps. But what I do is I start at this point past the curtains at this corner and every time I pass it I say one or there's like a pole right here so that's one lap around and there are other people that come down here and it's right across from the cafeteria they walk some people um, talk on their phones take private calls and whatever so Thank you for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video. And uh, so what I'm going to do just to keep myself breathing while I walk because I have a tendency to hold my breath, which is not good. I'm going to talk. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is to change it with YouTube. So I had to get on my laptop. Well, it was my grandson's laptop. And, oh, and I rolled my eyes up too. You know, so if you see me doing it, I'm not rolling my eyes at you. So I got on my grandson's laptop. And all the videos that I had posted and recorded previously, I had to go in and say if they was kid-friendly or not. And because I never know the topic that I'm going to choose or say, I may say, damn or something like that all of a sudden and I don't want to say it in front of someone child if they click on this video then I just said not for kids <laughs> on all the videos because I can't remember everything that I've said in other videos so on the laptop I was able to go into the studio click on the pencil select all the videos and say not kid friendly, safe, and that was it. Now, of course, I'm on my Android, and on my Android, once I post this video, it's not gonna ask me is it kid friendly or not. It'll tell me where to go and how to go to look for it, but. I can never do it. I can never find out where it is or do it on my Android. So that's why I did it on the laptop. So that's, that's 
two. I've made two laps. So with that being said, I'm not walking very fast. That's why I'm not too short-winded. But it's been a long time since I've come down here and walked. And so, I had some sunflower seeds and some white cheddar popcorns. So, that's another reason why. Let me speed up a little bit because somebody else is walking down here too. And she's kind of catching up with me. The reason why I'm not hungry. So, of course, another topic of conversation that I want to talk about is um, the water dancer. I forgot the name of the author. In fact, I really can't pronounce the author's name. But I'm listening to it at work. And... I just lost my train of thought. So, okay, I got my train of thought back. Okay, so the water dancer is on the Oprah Winfrey's book club. And so, <laughs> um, I'm not really into it right now. It's one of those excuse me. Excuse me. Um it's starting off slow. So with that being said it's um really not that interesting right now. And from what I can gather from the from what I just you know listened to. I'm just on chapter two or three, so I just started. It's about slaves. You know, it's a lady um, the plantation plantation life. I probably need to start over if I can't tell you what chapter one and chapter two or three is about. And there's a problem. <laughs> but I know um, somebody drowned, or almost drowned. They actually fell in. But they was revived. They were saved. But I'll talk to you all more. It's not really about Oprah Book Club, and although I'm supposed to be a part of it. But however, uh, the book just... Listening to it isn't that interesting. And I think I had downloaded it on my iPad, on my iTunes account, to read it. I think I paid for it. So, what else I'm going to talk to you all about? She walks fast. I don't, so she's getting up with me so that I can keep walking. Oh, so the fast is over. I already told you all that. And so I'm believing God to do some miracles, some miraculous things in my life. So what I find is if I'm doing a fast with a church, so whatever the pastor is praying for, like when I did it with the Dream Center, I'm not a member there, but I do watch online. With the Dream Center, what is what happened is every night for 12 days at 7 or 7.30, the pastor came and gave a word or a brief message. But it was basically a prayer service. So, with that being said, um, let me see. Um, the prayer service was focusing on like one word or one topic. 
like focus. Um, another one was, uh, let's say prosperity or health, something like that. And so that was for the night. That's what you focused on until the next night when they had prayer service. They would pray the word of God according to the word of God for these things to, for you to be blessed and healed in certain areas. So, with that being said, I'm only going to do, well, it's already at 10 minutes. I'm not going to do my whole 45 minutes talking to you all. <laughs> Because YouTube is not going to allow me to load a 45 minute video. So, other than that, that's the only time that I prayed. I'm focused on most of the things because I had a lot going on and still do. But what I believe is once we prayed and said it during the prayer service, that was it. Yay and amen is done. And I'm looking forward to the manifestation of my fast. Now, of course, I was drinking smoothies, but they was putting syrup <laughs> in the smoothies, some of them, and I didn't know it. I just happened to see the lady do it. And I asked her, and she said, oh, it's a syrup. I'm like, oh, my God. You know? But she had already did it. So, of course... Like a couple of days, about three days before the fast ended, she said, I said, do you have something other than syrup? She said, well, we have like this free right, but she didn't tell me that it was still syrup but with strawberries in it, free right. I just happened to see on the shelf that they sell this free right, and it had syrup and fruit close in it. So the last two days of the fast, <laughs> I was having sweets. Sweets was a part of the fast. No sweets. That's what was said. But I believe because I didn't know, God honored, honored it anyway. So, I'm definitely going to get me a blender so that I can, you know, do my own smoothies. I had my daughter to buy certain things so that I could eat on this fast, right? However, however, um, um, I didn't get a chance to cook none of it because I was working overtime and I was tired and I didn't feel like cooking or preparing any of it. So... I'm not tired, tired, but my knees are kind of, you know, feeling it a little bit. So, um, I'm just waiting on the manifestation of the Lord so that, um, you know, I can see my sacrifices, the sacrifice that I made, the things that I prayed and asked for, see it come to fruition. <sighs> and so at this point in time he's getting over like 15 minutes so what I do is um, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to say a short prayer and then this video will be 15 minutes so those of you who don't want to hear the prayer you don't want to hear God you don't want to hear Jesus I'm going to give you a few seconds and you can click off. Okay, so the rest of us can go ahead and you can bow your heads, you can raise your hands, you can stand, you, can, you know, whatever you have to do to get in that frame of mind to receive. So let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come boldly before you, throne of grace, 
Trust me, you're not nothing. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the great I am. Father God, you said that you would supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Father, we ask that you give us clarity on today, wisdom and knowledge, that you help us to focus as we go about our daily occupations or whatever it is that we have to do today. We ask that you help us to be still and to listen, to receive your word. We thank you for the angels for being around us and keeping us safe and protected. Father, as we have learned that we have to tell and command the angels what to do. We are their boss. So I pray in Jesus' name, the angels, minds, and everybody that's listening, that they go out and everything that we pray according to the word of God and the good things concerning those who are listening and praying with me, that you go out and you accomplish it. But thank you for guarding our hearts, our minds, opening the doors that no man can shut, closing the doors that no man can open. Angels, we thank you for leading us in a path where we can connect with people who are going to help us. We thank you for whispering in our ear. We thank you for using that still small voice to instruct and guide us. We ask that you go forward and in the crooked path, make it straight. In the down path, make it lit. That you go and prepare before us the room, the table that you put in the hearts and the minds of those that we are supposed to come in contact and association with. That it goes smoothly according to the word of God. That you go, you touch our husbands and draw him nigh to us. That you teach us how to be good wives, good husbands, good mothers, good grandmothers, good daughters, good nieces and nephews, good people around. We thank you for your guidance, angels. Father God, me personally, I pray that the angels go out and personally select my instructor that's going to teach me how to drive. That the angels go out and personally select the contractor that's going to rehab my house totally. In Jesus' great and mighty name, Father God, we thank you that whatever the ones that are listening to this prayer need and want, that their angels are dispatched and dispersed and go out and do what they are commanded to do according to the word of God. We thank you for the hedge of protection around us our family members, our loved ones. Thank you for our jobs. Lord, you thank you for several strings of income. Thank you for